Antibiotics and open fractures. Antibiotics and open fractures is an important topic. When the fracture is open, the bone is communicating with the contaminated external environment. These injuries need special care and special attention. It needs immediate antibiotic prophylaxis and it needs debridement of the wound. Antibiotics should be given as soon as possible. The infection rate will increase when the administration of the antibiotics to the patient is delayed for more than three hours from the time of injury. Patients that are admitted to trauma centers receive their antibiotics within 15 minutes because they have a protocol and immediately the patient is given the antibiotics upon arrival to the emergency room if the patient has an open fracture. In non-trauma centers, the patient received the antibiotics like an hour after arrival to the emergency room. And if the wound is smaller, the delay can be more. In trauma centers, the trauma surgeon facilitates the delivery of antibiotics. And if you have a multidisciplinary trauma program for the treatment of open fractures, that may reduce the timing of the delivery of antibiotics, and that will help in reducing the infection rate. So when the patient comes to the emergency room with an open fracture, you want to give antibiotics. You want to give the patient tetanus prophylaxis. You want to take the patient to surgery for debridement. Timing of debridement is controversial. It used to be six hours, but this is no longer the case. But timing of giving antibiotics is not controversial. You got to give the antibiotics in open fractures as soon as possible. So when do you debride the wound? Debridement should be done within 24 hours to minimize the risk of infection for type 3 fractures and within 12 hours for type 3B open tibial fractures. Then you will do stage irrigation and debridement every 24 to 48 hours. So when you debride the wound, you use saline solution applied by low pressure gravity flow device. You want to do wound closure as soon as you can, and you will do soft tissue coverage within five to seven days. The odds of infection increased by 16% for each day that goes beyond seven days. The infection rate increases with increasing gastillo grades from grade 1 to grade 3. Grade 1 will be less than 1%. Grade 3 will be up to 30%. The infection rate depends on the zone of the injury, the periosteal stripping, and delay in treatment. Increased infection rate will occur with delayed antibiotics delivery with delay in wound closure, but the infection rate is not related to timing of the debridement. Infection following open fractures commonly occurs following open tibial fractures. So which antibiotics do you give? It depends on the grade of the wound. So what are the open fractures grade classification? Grade 1, less than 1 cm. Grade 2, from 1 to 10 cm. Grade 3, more than 10 cm with severe contamination. Grade 3 is divided into three types. Grade 3A, adequate soft tissue for closure. Grade 3B, extensive periosteal strapping, and the patient will need local or distant flap. Grade 3C, vascular injury requiring repair or amputation. So now, which antibiotics do you give? For type 1 and type 2, you give first generation cephalosporin. 
and you give clindamycin or vancomycin if there is an allergy to the NSAF. For type 3, you give first generation cephalosporin plus aminoglucoside like gentamicin. How about farm injuries? Farm injuries are severely contaminated and that will include also lawnmower injuries and barnyard injuries. So you will add penicillin to cover the anaerobe and the clostridia. So you will give ANSIF, gentamicin, and penicillin, and you give that as soon as possible because of the severe contamination. How about segmental fracture of the tibia? You will consider it to be grade three, even if the wound is one centimeter or less. So you will give ANSIF and gentamicin. And if it is a farm injury, you will add penicillin also. So for how long do you give these antibiotics? As we stated, the antibiotics should be given as soon as the patient arrives to the emergency room. You will continue with the antibiotics for 24 hours after the initial injury if the wound is able to be closed primarily. But in general, you will continue with antibiotics for 24 hours after initial closure of the wound if the wound is not closed during the initial surgical debridement. So you will give the antibiotics for 48 hours for type 3 open fractures after closure of the wound. Extended antibiotics may be given for 3 to 5 days. It can be protective against deep infection in patients with severe contamination. But these extended antibiotics is not superior to one day course in preventing infection after open fractures when the contamination is not severe. So what is the mechanism of action of the antibiotics? The cephalosporin, the vancomycin, and the penicillin will work on the cell wall. Protein synthesis, gentamicin will work on 30S subunit. Lindamycin will work on 50S subunit. Cipro will work on the DNA gyrase. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.